from Mars, and you're not going to believe this one. Scientists talk privately about creating a synthetic human genome. Now that's just lovely. So what they want to do, they want to create, well why not, they want to create a synthetic human. Now, one of the conspiracy theorists has been saying all these years that they've been creating synthetic soldiers and synthetic, you know, shall I say, slaves. Uh, prospect is firm both intrigued and concerned in the life sciences community because it might be possible such as through cloning to use a synthetic genome to create human beings without biological parents. So the idea is, well, the project is still in the ideal, ideal phase and also involves efforts to improve DNA synthesis in general. It was discussed at a closed door meeting on Tuesday at Harvard Medical School in Boston. Where else but Harvard? Nearly 150 attendees were told not to contact news media or to post on Twitter during the meeting. Organizers said the project would give a big scientific payoff and would be a follow up to the original human genome project, which was aimed at reading the sequence of 3 billion chemical letters in the DNA blueprint of human life. Uh, this isn't good. Put simply, it's rather dangerous. Such an attempt would raise numerous ethical issues. Could scientists create humans with certain kinds of traits, perhaps people born and bred to be soldiers, or would it be possible to make copies of specific people? This is the thing. Uh, about the soldiers. Would it be okay for instance, example, to sequence and then synthesize Einstein's genome? Drew Endy, a bio, bioengineer at Stanford, and Lori Zoloff, a bioethicist at Northwestern University, wrote in an essay criticizing the proposed project. If so many, if so, how many Einstein genomes should be made and installed in cells and who would get to make them? Dr. Andy though invited, said he deliberately did not intend the meeting at Harvard was, it was not being open to enough people, it was not giving enough thought to the ethical implications of the work. Well, they're not concerned with ethical implications. Uh, this is insanity. Now, I got a question uh, for you religious folks. Do you still think that we were uh, popped into existence by some all-powerful God? I mean, this has done before, been done before. It's there in the Bible. So, uh, basically, we were genetically engineered, and then something went wrong. We were corrupted. That's really what the Bible's saying. George Church, a professor, professor of genetics at Harvard Medical School and organizer of the proposed project, said. There has been a misunderstanding. The project was not aimed at creating people, just cells, and would not be restricted to human genomes, he said. Rather, it would aim to improve the ability to synthesize 
DNA in general. It could be applied to various pl animals, plants, and microbes. Uh, well, he's lying when he says they're not going to try to create whole new people. You are a liar. Liar, liar, pants on fire. What's the point of creating it? Just a cell. So, uh, you, George Church, are a liar, and I'm calling you out. Uh, project was originally called HGPT, Human Genome Synthesis Project, with HGP referring to the Human Genome Project. The invitation of meeting at Harvard so the primary goal will be synthesize a complete human genome and a cell line within a period of 10 years. There you have it. Uh, apparently we're so advanced that we can synthesize our own species and others too, of course. Like I said, do you really think we can just pop in uh, into existence by some all-seeing God in the sky. I think that news for you. Well, that, uh, these people are just out of control. That's the way I see it. They're not backing down. It's just crazy. It's insanity. I want to fact the Mars videos are going to be real short and delay. Uh, get a handle on the new system. Thanks for watching.